Okay, guys, I wanted to do an update for anybody following or subscribed and wondering when I'm going to start doing videos again. Uh, all the concrete got poured yesterday. They came back today and cut these relief joints this way. They did two that way and two this way. I do got to invest in a big push broom. But anyways, uh, won't be long. I can walk on it right now, but I can't put any weight on it as far as my toolbox, tables, things of that sort. Um, so I'm just in here sweeping, trying to get some of this stuff out and uh, get ready to start working in here and putting out more videos. And uh, hopefully in about, uh, I'd say I'm gonna probably wait two months before I put a lift down just to give this concrete plenty of time to cure. I'll go ahead and start working in here and using jacks and stuff, but um, I'll just have to be careful for a little bit. And I don't wanna put any kind of major weight on two post or if I decide to go with a four post, I might do it a little bit sooner, but probably not. I'm thinking about leaving this an open bay or either just putting a pad lift here for when I do brakes or suspension or something like that. And then over here, putting a four post. I had a two post before. I've had a full, uh, full size um, scissor lift. I've had everything but a four post. And I've liked the four post because I do remove a lot of transmissions and I do a lot of um, oil pans and things like that. So I do like the idea of a four post with a bridge jack so that I could still do other things on it. But uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I just, uh, I'm excited. I'm ready to start putting out more videos. So stay tuned and won't be long. I might start doing a video or two here and there this weekend. And uh, I think Saturday I'm pretty booked up. I have about four or five jobs just waiting for Saturday. So uh, I may put out a video or two this weekend. And then, uh, like I said, soon, and as, as soon as I get a lift for sure, I'll start putting out a whole lot more. So anyways, I wanted to do an update and show y'all the shop and I can't wait to get started in here. And by the way, I don't know if I've made a video yet or not, but this shop's well built as far as trusses. Every metal building I've seen, it just had some weak looking truss and uh, I didn't like that. So I was really excited when I seen these fully welded, fully tubed trusses. All right, guys. I will catch y'all on the next one. I wanted to throw in there that uh, the reason I did this metal building the way that I did by uh, putting the metal building in first and then coming back and doing the con concrete is because every building that I've seen like this, that's built like this, um, when it rains really hard or just over time, if this building was sitting on top of that concrete, it would leak under that into the shop and you would just constantly have to caulk that so by doing it this way and bringing it up to the top of that railing, it completely seals it off from the outside and from any water coming in or anything like that. I did spray a thick rubber coating on uh, the railing before I put the concrete in because just to give it some extra protection against that concrete. So I did want to add that. And uh, if anybody's looking to build a shop or a metal building just for a garage or whatever that's the way that i did it i think that's the best way to do it but to each his own um it is only two and a half inches deep for a little piece right there but then like uh right here where the cars are going to sit and everything it's probably 10 to 12 inches deep here and then on that side because it's not going to necessarily be my heavy duty side that's why i got the door here the bigger door uh, but that's going to be like small cars and SUVs. It's probably four and a half, five inches deep over there. But in this entire area here, which you can see from the outside as well, but it, it's even deeper than it looks. But this entire area here is 10 to 12 inches deep uh, with the, the, you can see here how shallow that looks compared to this. But uh, I'd say the deepest point is probably 12 inches. 
the shallowest seven inches. Um, I didn't do a perfect grade scape on it. I, I just kind of done the, done the best I could without having to hire somebody to come in here with a laser. And even though I have a laser transit, I just wasn't trying to get it that perfect. Uh, perfect. So uh, I just wanted it deep enough that if uh, I put some weight on it, hopefully I won't have any issues. But uh, I, I wanted to throw that in as far as the building goes and why I did it the way the way that I did it. Whew, I'm getting tongue tied today, but I did it that way for that particular reason for watershed. And uh, if you're looking at some of these buildings, maybe think of doing the same thing. I'm not saying you have to or you should. It's just the way that I did it, and it's the reason why. Y'all have a good one.